Harmonize is one of the most powerful as well as versatile features in DJ Studio. One click and within seconds, it can run through thousands or even millions of combinations for the possible order of songs in your playlist, balancing between mixing harmonically as well as running smoothly through the BPM range. But like any tool, the true power is knowing how and when to use it. As Harmonize is a playlist ordering feature, it's unique to DJ Mix projects and not available in mashup projects. Put simply, it orders the song in your playlist based on key and BPM. It won't decide how and when to mix your songs for you. That craftsmanship is still left to you as the artist. However, it can be a massive time saver and with a little customization, a bit of a playlist optimizing copilot. Here in the playlist view with our list of songs in no particular order, currently we're jumping up and down in tempo and other than a few songs just by chance, we're not mixing harmonically in key. Down the bottom left, click harmonize and we can choose either of the two harmonize modes. The classic harmonize mode works algorithmically through all the songs in your playlist, testing every possible combination it can within a specified time frame to determine the optimal order for your songs, maximizing harmonic mixing without making large jumps in BPM. This makes it consistent and reliable, but limited in flexibility for more dynamic playlists. For that, you may prefer Harmonize AI. This fine-tuned model isn't bound by the limitations of a pure algorithm. Instead, it's able to adapt uniquely to different track combinations and offer multiple ordering options after you run it multiple times. It's super fast, and this makes it incredibly flexible as a tool for iterating and refining your playlist. But hold on, I can already hear you saying, that doesn't sound very creative. I came here to DJ and to have fun, not to learn about algorithms. And you're totally right. First of all, you don't need to worry about Harmonize if you don't want to. You can skip it entirely and just order your playlist manually. Or give it a try and think of its suggested order as a proposal. You can go with some or all of its proposed transitions, or you just hit undo. Regardless, when you do need to put something together quickly, Harmonize is refined and purpose-built for DJs in this exact situation. It's quickly able to give me options and ideas as well as identify problems with my playlist like unavoidable jumps in key or BPM that it can't solve. So I need to go in and add or remove tracks. I can also lock tracks that I want in a particular order, maybe move a few around and then run Harmonize again. I repeat this process a few more times and suddenly this process the process of shuffling tracks around goes from taking hours to just minutes, and it feels more productive and enjoyable. Once I'm satisfied with the order of my tracks, then I can use all this time I've saved over in the studio view, which we'll explore in just a moment. Crafting my transitions, deciding when, where, and how I mix between songs, which at least to me is the best part of mixing music. Harmonize can also be customized and personalized in multiple ways. Selecting the playlist ordering tab, we can change the mode it uses uses for harmonic mixing. We can also adjust the Harmonize algorithm to prioritize mixing harmonically in key, or simply smoothly through the BPM range, or with a mix of both. You can lock tracks within Harmonize itself to the first or last position in the mix, particularly helpful if you want to start or end your mix showcasing certain tracks. Plus, don't forget that any songs that were already locked in a particular order will still stay locked as well. In the Transition tab, we can refine the base transition parameters that are automatically applied to songs in our mix. Transition style lets you select the preset that will be applied by default to blend between songs. And these options will make a lot more sense later in the Academy, where we'll cover transitions, effects, and creating your own custom transition presets. We can also specify transition length, how long our songs overlap before we move from one song to the next. Similarly, we can set manual mix in and mix out parameters, how early or late in each song we start to transition in and out respectively. Tempo transition controls how quickly BPM increases or decreases during a transition, and synchronized tempo can disable beat matching entirely. These settings can be fun to experiment with and extremely useful in select circumstances. However, whilst you're still progressing with the Academy, I would suggest just leaving everything here to defaults and allowing DJ Studio to initialize transitions automatically based on the duration of each song. Whether you need a functional playlist fast and let Harmonize fully take the wheel, or you're just looking for a playlist Copilot to help you efficiently refine your song selection process. You'll love having Harmonize in your mixtape creation tool belt. Or maybe it's not for you. Either way, once you've finished ordering your playlist, it's time for the next video where we'll discover the studio view.